Welcome to episode 31 of What's That Bird? I'm pleased to announce that What's That Bird is continuing for its third year in season three. Now on this year of What's That Bird, I'd like to do something a little different. More than just identify the birds, I'd like to make a little bit more of an effort to make some commentary and give some information about each of the birds I've identified. And I'm going to do this for two reasons. First, I think it'll just make the show more interesting. And second, uh, some of the birds that I'm going to identify might be quite easy to identify, or some of the details of the identification might be somewhat tedious. So I might uh, spend more time giving information about the birds rather than identifying them. But rest assured, the identification part of What's That Bird is still going to be a major part of the show. Now you may recall on episode 29, The Owl from Scotland, Tony Barrett sent me a picture of this interesting owl. But Tony also sent me quite a few other pictures and I just haven't had time to feature them on the show. But today on episode 31, I'm featuring another one of Tony's pictures. So without further ado, let's see the mystery bird. Now there are several clues in this picture that give us a lot of information. First of all, we see that these are birds walking around near the sea. Now usually when you see a bird walking around near the sea, it's a shorebird. And we know that beyond some simple examples, shorebirds are quite difficult to identify. But these shorebirds have something that most shorebirds do not. They have a bright orange beak. Most shorebirds have duller or darker beaks, so this is an amazing clue. Also, the feathers of these birds are mainly black and white. Very few shorebirds look like this, and I think most birders will have by now identified these birds as oyster catchers. Yes, the mystery bird is an oyster catcher. But there isn't just one species of oyster catcher in the world. In fact, there are 12, not to mention many subspecies. So which species of oyster catcher is this? I think I forgot to mention where this picture was taken. If you saw episode 29, and you know that this picture was taken in the same place as the owl, you'll know that Tony took this picture on the Isles of Harrison Uist in Scotland. And there's simply one oyster catcher that can be seen in Scotland, and that's the Eurasian oyster catcher. Now I happen to notice that on eBird, the Eurasian oyster catcher is listed as near threatened. To figure out why this might be, I looked at a paper talking about this oyster catcher. This paper was a global assessment of the conservation status of the nominate species of Eurasian oyster catcher Hematopus australigus australigus. This paper tells us a few reasons why the Eurasian oyster catcher might be near threatened. The first threat is mechanical shell fisheries. These fisheries use mechanical means to systematically remove shellfish from various areas where the oyster catcher feeds. If too many shellfish are removed, then the oyster catcher can't feed as well. Another cause is bait digging. Bait digging is the removal of large worms used in sport fishing. Not only can bait digging reduce the populations of one of the prey species of the oyster catcher, but human presence while bait digging also disturbs feeding birds. As with millions of other species at risk, habitat loss was also cited as another cause for the threat to oyster catchers. In fact, the authors cited one paper which estimated that the carrying capacity of oyster catchers in one area will decline from 40,000 to 10,000. However, laws protecting certain areas may mitigate this risk. There was one thing that was surprising in this section and that was hunting. Apparently, people actually shoot oyster catchers, especially in France, although the paper does cite that this is decreasing. Hunting was a problem for many ducks in North America, and it still is a problem for many birds around the world today. I hope you've enjoyed the new format for this What's That Bird. It did not take too much effort today to identify this bird as the Eurasian oyster catcher. How sure am I of this assessment? I'm going to say 95%. Although the Eurasian oyster catcher is the only oyster catcher that has been reported on eBird, you never know, it could be a vagrant. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.